Right guys, welcome back on the Bard. I'm level 10 now and I'm turning in a couple sashes. I need the money. We're gonna buy some spells, train up and dodge, and then we're gonna head over to the new world. Make sure I don't sell the good ones. You know, bronze, selling bronze. These are the good ones, don't sell those. We can sell the spider silks and all the other junk. All right, time to train in my new skill, dodge. Done. Trained one point in meditate. Training a point to. Oh, we don't have wind instruments yet. That's level 14. Stringed instruments, there's the one. Okay, we got that trained. Looking good. All right, I got new songs. Hymn of Restoration, that's a level 6, so we'll put that right there in the sixth slot. Corpse is the fourth one. Anthem de Arms is level 10, so that's. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll put that there. The proper position. And then we have this one that's we can use at level 12. Okay, so we're gonna be running to Freeport. I might as well pick up the mail delivery for Freeport. Let's do that now. Okay, I picked up the mail delivery to High Pass and Freeport. Let's head out now. Oops, wrong way. So I'm gonna say it again. West Karana's, I mean you got you got will o wisps out here. Check it out. Over here by Yuz Pond, and there are will o wisps There are things to fight, so don't neglect West Karanas. I think I previously made complaints about this zone being barren, but there is stuff. Come out here. So now I'm going through the North Karanas. Let's take a look at the stuff and what it considers to me. Grizzly bear is yellow, so this would be a great place to level here. Scythe beetle still red, but there's plenty of stuff here that's white and yellow and blue. Silver mist. So even the boar beetles, I think I can I can take right now. What are the weaker ones? There's boar beetles, there's scythe beetles, and there's some weaker versions. So I am contemplating sticking around here for a little bit, but then I think. The longer I prolong it, getting into um, unrest, the, 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 I haven't basically, I want to start out with the yard trash and work my way to the inside. So we'll start out in the courtyard around the maze and then get in ourselves into the mansion itself. So that was my goal. Um, I'm so tempted to stick around here and fight things though. This is one of my favorite zones. I love this zone so much. It's very dangerous. And I'm still close to um, Kinos, but if we get over to the Estate of Unrest, we always have Kelth and we can use. There's a Bard Guild, so never fear. And there's some songs that are only specific to Kelth and Vendors, so it's a good reason to make our way over there now. But since we're here, let's just tack this yellow con grizzly. Oops. Here we go. Watch out for Griffons, you know. And I think what we need to do as well is put in our... See how much better I can see? Only problem is I'm running out of slots. So let's just throw it in the offhand. Nice. Lots of light. This is a yellow con. I could level very quickly out here. I'd like to gain a little defense. There's one point into defense. And because I'm worried about running through high pass... Running through high pass, there's some higher level gnolls and they can stun me, they can cast all kinds of nasty spells on me, and if I die, it's gonna be terrible. All right, onwards. So we're now 28% of the way through this level. That's quick. And of course, let's get some speed going. Put this back on the drums. All right, so this is gonna be the most dangerous part of this journey. It would have been much better and safer if I had gone through South Karanas, Lake Wrath here, Firat, South Row, Oasis, North Row, Commons, and then to Freeport. But this is the way I went. I'm going to drop off Mel too, so let's get started. I threw on the sword because it's going to give me an extra 100 hit points. As soon as I take some hits, I'm going to switch to the drums. Alright, so there's the Shaman. That's, that's what I want to avoid. So let's go ahead and go. As soon as I get hit, I'm going to switch. Oh, great. Here we go. Throw up Celos again. He's casting. Put on the drums. Oh, my God. It's starting. 
Get going. Oh, shoot. Grinix Mucktail, how did he find me? That was completely ridiculous. Stun, 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 stun. All right, we're coming up close to the corpse, making our way slowly, naked, no drums. Long run. Uh, I've got a plan when I get there. I think I'm gonna log on another character, drag the corpse to the entrance, clear a path of gnolls, and uh, see what I can do. So I have to jump on another character. I think I have another bar <laughs> logged out in there. And I think if I was just maybe two levels higher, I wouldn't have got hit every time. Um, it might have been enough to get through there. Because they hit me every time. See that? Boom, 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 boom. I just got hit, pummeled. And uh, higher levels would have prevented me from getting hit so much. Maybe level 12 or 13, I could have made it, I think. But level 12... I mean, level 10, it's just, that's too low to even make that run. But I've, I've got some other characters I can use to help assist get through that. So anyways, getting back on track. Okay, I'm here. Let's start consenting characters. Consent Illuminator. Consent Cheerio. I don't know who's closest. Basically, I'm going to consent all of my other characters. Uh, Hux. Consent. Well, I'm just going to work on consenting characters and log in somebody who's close by. Alright, cheerio to the rescue. I'm going to drag my corpse. Um, I'm going to try to clear out the path as well, then quickly log back into the other character and then run them through. If I can get to a high pass, I think I'll be okay. Um, I Probably lost the mail. Yeah, when you log out, it's no rent. I lost the mail. That's fine. But I'm going to try to uh, clear the path, drag the corpse, switch characters, run through to the bank, and then log back in Cheerio, clear the path once again. Or, you know, the second part of the journey through high passes and is dangerous. There's a guard there, and they're constantly running into the guard. So I think I can probably sneak by that one. But, um,. I'll at least park myself by the guard. So, Cheerio to the rescue. Level 55 druid here. Alright, let's see if we can get this corpse. I'm going to run in there, drag the body back, and then I'm going to nuke everything in sight. And then, we're going to log back into my character and see if I can run him through there quickly. Alright, here we are. Let's do this. Oh, look how clear the way is now. Why well, couldn't it have been like that? These things just want to attack you no matter what. So I'm not sure which spells are the best to use. Let's use Immolate first. So I guess that's a dot. Let's just watch it work. How about Combust? What does this one do? How about Fire Strike? This is is Combust going to do waves, or is it going to just do burst damage? It looks like just burst damage. It appears he's still dotted. Yeah, he's still dotted. What about Fire Strike? That did 302 damage. Let's just do Fire Strike. So what I'm going to do before I kill those is just drag the body back. Here's how far I got. All right. Hey, there's a volunteer. Let's save the volunteer, though. Fires. Oh, come on, can we save him? Damn. Kill this one too. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, there's another one. Crap. Running low on mana here. Let's 
sitting and camping now. All right, we are logging back in. Let's do this fast. Gosh, I should have been, I should have actually camped out inside, <clears throat> inside high pass. That way I don't have to do the extra zoning in. Come on, let's get in there quick. They spawn so fast. I feel like I'm running super slow. Right, I'm doing it. Oh my god, my life's slow too. Shoot. I'm gonna run for it. Man, he stunned me. Oh my god, why are they all coming like that? Did you see him run down? Let's just be clear, I've made that run before. On characters as low as this level. I've never had them run down from the top like that. For some reason they path down on me. And that's unusual. Even with the running speed, I got caught. Genix Mucktail, I mean he was at the top of that ledge. The flame paw, the soothsayer. All of those guys were at the top. And that's the only reason I got caught again, and this caused me to die twice. Guys, we're back in business. This is much, much further later on. I am now in the butcher block. Let's just kill these nasty goblins and then I'm gonna head over to the estate of unrest. We have to go through Dagnor's Cauldron and that's a pretty dangerous area. So luckily I got a couple buffs to help carry me through the area. So I've got skin like nature and spirit of wolf, but I think Spirit of Wolf isn't even as fast as my CeeLo, so... But anyways, just in case I need to throw out the Whistling War song, we have the Spirit of the Wolf. Alright, and I've gotten bound in the area, too. Man, that was a bunch of work. Three corpse runs from Kinos to High Pass. <clears throat> I did all of that because I wanted to level up and unrest as opposed to the other areas I typically do. Not that there's anything wrong with leveling up in the Karanas, that's my favorite way to do it, but I'm trying to do something different this time. Every time I've come to unrest I've been higher in levels, closer to 20. And This time I'm gonna start out in the yard and work my way in. So we gotta get past all this stuff to get there first, and this is dangerous. Kind of makes me nervous going through this area. After dying three times, I'm very nervous. But many people make this journey through here as low levels. You can start fighting the stuff in the yard about level 10. And that's where we're at, level 10. Ooh. Stay up close to the ledge. Get right up here. Should be coming upon it very soon. Classic zone here. Ooh, goblins. I love running fast. So, I have to say, it's a close call. The best skills in the game. Well, you can say Spirit of Wolf is there. Everyone loves Spirit of Wolf. But I think the two best ones, if we don't count Spirit of Wolf, is going to have to be Celos and Tracking. Two best. Here we are, guys. We're getting in there. So let's take a survey. Who's here? There's a level 26 Ranger and there's myself. Level 10 Bard. Constantin Valdor. Still the Whistling War song. A lot of times you see a lot of corpses up here. See them? All right, now we're gonna start taking a look. Death beetles, yellow cons. It's gonna be great. Two on one. I think I can handle at least one of them. Looks like there's another one coming our way. So I have skin like nature, so that's gonna help us. Gaining dodge right now. I'm not gonna twist songs yet. 
though I do have the ability to twist Hem of Restoration. I could cycle back between Hem of Restoration and Jonathan's Whistling War Song. It adds a little bit of work to it, but I don't think I need to do it yet. That's for the future. I'm trying to take a really relaxed, chill uh, game session. I'm not trying to work too hard right now. All right, we're at 20% of the way through the level. And that gave me another 5%. So you do get coins from this, this is just great. I'm not gonna loot very much stuff because I'm gonna be accumulating loot very quickly. All right, so we're in the maze, the hedge. Death Beetle. We're not gonna go inside yet. Oh, nice, the tormented dead cons even to me. We're getting swarmed by the beetles. It's beetle mania. The beetle invasion. We're gonna chill out the gazebo. Dodge is going up quick. That's my newest skill I just added at level 10. I know you guys might be thinking, man, this dude is tweaked out. It's true, I'm tweaked. Retreat. We're getting too many ads. Way too many ads. So I have to fight my way to the gazebo, apparently. Um, let's see, we need to start throwing Hymn of Restoration into the mix. Get rid of that one, throw Hymn of Restoration right here. Oh, I'm getting low. Come on. Hymn of Restoration. Too many beetles. So I got to cycle between the Whistling War Song and the Hymn of Restoration now. Oh, I'm getting stunned a lot. There we go. Cycle between them. Oh God. Why didn't it die? I'm still trying to get this thing set up. Damn, they reached me. Crap. <laughs> We're down to two of them. I think I need to zone out. Missing notes, songs ending. I don't know, can I handle two? Oh, that's three of them. No. Zone out. Hopefully I don't lose my skin like nature buff. Guys, I lost all my buffs. That's fine. I was just too powered out anyways. There they are, the beetles. hard with all the stuns though. It's ridiculously. I mean the stun rate's so high. Come on get him. Last hit.
Celos. <laughs> I forgot I don't have Spirit of Wolf on. That Celos going. Here they are. Twisting my songs. So I'm only just alternating between two songs. I could easily do three. The way I do it is I just double tap. Tap to stop the sum for the initial song and then tap again to start the fresh song. So two two three three and if I was gonna do four of them I'd do four four. Two two three three four four just like that. Okay, did it. mushroom. So I haven't yet started using my loot. But we need to raise that wind instruments. Where's my bag of instruments? Oh god, I was nervous. Okay, so we're carrying too much stuff. Let's get rid of this satchel for high pass. Obviously, I'm not going to deliver this. Now I can put the loot out here. Now what we're going to do is put the loot. Okay, loot goes in the primary slot. What? Okay, it's a primary slot weapon. And we're using him of restoration. Trying to get that stringed instruments skill. That's enough. Continuing on towards fighting our way to the gazebo. What do you guys think? I think something's behind me. Yep. Look how much stuff is in this yard. This is amazing. Can't wait to start dual wielding. We're gonna be a powerhouse. A DPS machine, really. Here we go. We got plenty here to fight, plenty. Oh, my computer says free up storage. Oh no. I'm running out of room to re record on. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Hang on a second, let me delete some old videos. All right, we're back. I deleted some old videos. We got a tormented dead in there. We got a tormented dead over here. Nice. The Bride of Frankenstein. I didn't know they cast rabies. I don't like that. <laughs> That's fine. Rabies it is. Got my rabies shot. So 
So this is my first time fighting yard trash. I'd say it's pretty nice. And they call it the trash. Whoa. Okay, there's three up there. Let's stay down here. So my best song is gonna be the Whistling War song. I'm just gonna leave that running. And let's power our way to level 11. By the time we get to level 15, I'm gonna go inside and wreck. Maybe we can find a group eventually. Fight there in a group. You can see I'm gonna level so quick. It's a shame there's no kind of um, turn in rewards out here, just kind of like crush bone belts or black bro no fangs. Not that you need it, but I love turning in quest rewards for XP. It's even better if you get like armor rewards and you would use that to upgrade your character. Back in the early days, that's the way you would level up and gear yourself. The other way is just to craft, but crafting is very complex in this game. Recipes and all the ingredients aren't in one location, so you have to run around to different vendors and it requires a lot of research on websites. It's just too much work for me. Maybe it's not too much work for you guys, but it is too much work for me. It's too much to expect of me when I want to just relax. Take it easy. I mean, it's almost just too work, too much work refreshing my song. Every time I get stunned, it's I have to put it back up and like, come on, man. Oh, that guy's red. Oh, they're getting stronger on that side, so I need to stay on this side of the yard until I gain a couple more levels at least. So we cleared out this side of the yard. Those things are red to me. Oh, scarecrows. Let's see what they are. Jack o' lanterns red. You guys think I could do it? Hold on. So we can get him. Nope, oh, he moved. I can pull him with a DD. Come on. Come on. Come for me. I'm tempting. Oh, he's coming. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you see that? Let's bring him over here. I tried to pull one and now I got three of them and they just started destroying me. And this thing is red, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle this. Forever stunned. Alright, let's throw up some hymns. Singing those songs. I can't even get a song off. They just keep stunning. See that? There we go, got it off. Throw in some hymns. He's screaming in agony. Sorry, dude. Herd's Donut. There's a place called Herd's Donut. Specialty donut shop. They have a Homer Simpson donut. It's like a sprinkled pink frosting glazed donut. But when it comes to donuts, I just like the plain cake donut. That's all you need. Plain cake donut. It's perfect. Don't mess with it. Don't add extra stuff to it. It gets too sweet. No fillers, no toppings, no glaze. Just plain cake donut. It's too good. And if you're a coffee drinker, you can drink the plain black coffee with that cake donut and together it's sweet enough. Otherwise, you really need to throw a lot of 
sweetener in your coffee. Hey guys, I'm I'm about to level 11. Somehow I managed to handle all of those. Oh man, it's getting annoying. I can't keep my songs up at all. See what I'm saying? Like they last like five seconds and they get knocked off. See? Like five every five seconds my song stops. I don't remember it being like this in classic days. It might have been like this, but I just don't seem to remember having to deal with it. Cool beans. Right, 91%, couple more kills and we'll be level 11, and then I think I'll end this episode here. It's already 31 minutes long. Let's see if we can find something. This side of the yard is packed with mobs and monsters. It's the monster mash. Here we go. Tormented dead. She's tormented. Oh my god. Oh my god, where are they coming from? They've got a like huge aggro social aggro range. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't get the song up. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Stunned. Stunned. There we go. All right, let's run. Celos. My God. Get it going. Move, move, move. Run for it. Now I can throw up the him. So I just need two more kills and I'll level. Ooh, it's yellow. Oh, there's three of them. Come on, come on, come on. No, I need to run. Run. All right, guys, I'm ready to finish this level. A tasty beetle. A scrumptious morsel. You guys ever eat beetles? Remember the movie Indiana Jones? He goes to that village and they're eating beetles or something like that. And then there was some temple and they were eating monkey brains. I remember seeing that as a kid. I was probably too young to watch that. And I saw it and I was like, oh, monkey brains. And it looked like just kind of red jello with a little bit of whipped cream mixed in it to make it turbid color. Yeah, that's it. That's the big one. All right. He leveled. Can you believe it? Level 11. One last kill because I love to see my skills go up. And then we're going to log out and hopefully when we come back on tomorrow or later on, there's a group and I can join them and I can be the centerpiece of the group with all this amazing gear that Tofu hooked me up with. Dodge is going up. Offense is going up. Everything's going up. So how much XP will I get on a yellow kill at this level? Level 11. We're still doing 28 max damage. As our attack increases, that'll go up. So we gain 4% XP. All right, guys, I'm going to go near the entrance and we're going to camp out. Thanks for watching. This was a pretty rough start episode. I mean, Jesus, did you guys see how many times I died? So many corpse runs. I spent more time corpse running than I did actually hunting or grinding. That's just the way EverQuest is. It's a brutal game. It's a love-hate thing. Take care, guys. Have a great week.